Got him. Killed him, dude. He dropped him. Dropped him. Get another one in or not? He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Do not shoot him. Yes! Say hello. This is the first time you guys are going to see us on this trip. This is the uh, first day of Nick's 2021 limited entry bull tag. And we came out first thing this morning. Hiked out a good few miles. Plopped down, threw the glass out, and instantly Nick found a couple nice bulls. So. You want to see him here? This big bull just bedded down, actually, right there. And, of course, the biggest chocolate bull is in the timber. Yeah, he's right behind. I don't know if you guys can see that, but he's there. Got a couple days till opener. We're going to sit on these bulls and see what we can turn up. was in here last night and saw more bulls. But there's definitely elk around for sure Saturday. <coughs> opening day, it looks like it's going to be a good day for sure. There's no shortage of ground to cover in here, that's for sure. So we got our work cut out for us on the glass. We'll be sitting down a lot, looking into these huge drainages. Eventually something will pop out. We got another buddy coming up meeting us tonight, and then we may check out new area tomorrow, but for, for now, the plan is just to sit down and hang out. We got how many days in here left? Mm, total 12. 12 days. So it's gonna be a trip. We're gonna do what we do. Getting ready to go first thing in the morning here, day before opening day. We're gonna go up and check out a couple different drainages. See if we can see top the bulls got. that we found yesterday. We got a big pocket of bulls glass, and if we can't turn up nothing bigger, we're going right back. But this country's so big, gotta go check it out and show Keenan some new stuff today. So, day two, day four opener. It's about 9 a.m. We've hiked three, almost four miles actually, 3.8 miles in to a completely different spot. As you can see, we're getting up on a really nice drainage. Get up on a knife to be able to glass both sides. So, kind of using today as one last hoorah to check out country we haven't been in and make sure there's not a giant in here somewhere. And other than that, just gonna spend the day hiking around glassing and then pull out of here. We have to go back to where we glassed the bulls yesterday, but so far so good. Give you guys a look at this country right here because it's pretty badass. Very rugged. What are your thoughts on this?
or one day closer to the season beginning and today has produced a lot more people and a lot less animals so we're getting towards the end of where we're gonna hike today we might head a little bit further park it for a while glass everything we can and if we can't turn nothing up boogie on out but for now plan is to just sit here and look at this crappy view well, the first thing we glassed up all day was, in fact, a wolf, which is the last thing you want to glass up in this country, so we got the spotters out and confirmed for sure it's a wolf laying down on the rock across the canyon over there, so it kind of puts a damper on the day. We'll see if we can get guys some footage of this thing. Little afternoon on Friday and we're making the call. We're going back into where those bulls were yesterday, but tonight instead of staying at the trailer, we're gonna put camp on our backs and sleep on them, so. We better loosen this drag, there may be some summer steel laying in here. Damn, you still got the same tried and true doinker, that huh? same lead spinner on there. Have to get the angle of the dangle. Dude, that's a 20. Land that's a 16 him. Incher. Land easy that fucker, pin. dude. Loosen the drag. The Just a little. Really tight. Right there, now pin him. Easy, easy. That's an 18 inch fish. You can see him right here, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. yeah. Cracker, that's a dolly body, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, it is. Oh my god, that is a dolly, dude. I think it is, dude. No, I think it might easy, be a brookie. Easy. I think it's a really big brook. Squaw fish. Oh no, it is actually a brook trout. Big old oh, it's a dolly, dude. That is a dolly. Huge oh, dolly. This way left. And I'll pull him right back into here. Put that dolly bottom on a crack it, dude. That's my biggest fucking bull trout ever. That was a clam. Measure that on the rod real quick. I have a I have a measuring tape back at the house. Go to the letter, right. what letter is it? To the P? Mid P. To the P. That's a big ass fish. Put that on a cracker. That is a slug, Keenan. What? That is a slug here. Right there, that slug. Put that one on a crack. Up. That's a nice trout. Another dolly. Nice little Naha bull trout right there. Keenan caught it and it drilled it in and I landed it. We are minutes away from diving in on Nick's elk hunt and I think the uh, nerves are setting in. He's been quiet for a few minutes, but we're almost at the trailhead right now. It's 4.30, we don't have a lot of time to hike in, probably an hour. And that's if we want to give ourselves a few minutes to glass so we're gonna be setting up camp in the dark Keenan's in the back hanging out he's gonna be hauling in all the water and yeah got the tent the stove everything we need guns in the back hopefully Nick kills a bull the morning we're out of here but we're
we're prepared to weather the storm if we need to. Definitely putting ourselves in a good position for the morning though, for sure. Noble Steed in the back. The alternative was to hike from the gate at four in the morning, a few miles in, and try to get on the elk at daybreak, but it seems a little bit more beneficial to just find them tonight, sleep on them, and wake up to them. So we'll save ourselves some headache of sleep. Good afternoon. <laughs> it's happening, buddy. It's coming close. No, it's not coming close. It's here. This is going to be the last time we see the truck for a few days, so. Packs are pretty much loaded. All we got to do is put them on and put our feet to work, so. Tonight's going to be fun. I have the uh, tenderloins off the buck I shot this year, and we're going to be eating those over the uh, wood stove when we get packed in, so. Eating good tonight, hopefully lighten the packs. Oh, what do we got on the weapon this time? We got some Snake River Stampede there. That's proper. It's like proper 12, but not. That's a money pack, dude. 140. Maybe not quite that. <laughs> Your wings are gonna fucking come off. Feel? Well, you're gonna empty a lot of that weight in a few miles. That's not 100 pounds. Pretty heavy though, huh? Alright, this is a toast to Nick's elk hunt. Be Some Snake River Stampede. Cheers, boys. It is. I want to thank you guys for fucking coming out and fucking help me here. This is fucking definitely a bittersweet moment with you guys. Fucking get it, boys. Just kill them. It looks a lot lighter on this camera than I thought it would. It is dark out here. And we are basically where we're supposed to be in the morning. So I'm just gonna finish hiking up this hill to that camp. They wanted a glass before we set it up, so. Oh dude, so good. No, they're up higher, thankfully. That's where that big group with that big label was, huh? No, he's down here to the left. Like the most heavy-duty tent on the market, though. Pick it up now. Slow. Twist. Oh, God. He's gonna have a fing blowout in the fing bag, huh? <laughs> well, Is Nick. A low setting on your guys' lights? Yeah. Or the red, maybe? Sorry. It's just, I don't give a shit about it, but I'm just like, dude, like, we should conserve. I'll tell you what, that's a good sight. Well, I'm falling asleep like this. What do we got going on here now, Nick? Why don't you give us an update? Cooking blacktail. Tenderloins on the backpack in, or backpacked in three miles into everybody knows we're in the snake if you haven't figured that out yet. But it's gonna be a quite a long night. Long night and early morning. Before opening day as always is. Cook these. Everybody that 
backpacks with one of these stoves knows that it's a chore. And if you do not have ultra dry. When was the last time you drew a grand full tag, Nick? Oh, it's been a long time. Where'd you draw one at? It would have been in the unit south of your house there. You kind of? <laughs> How many points did it take? Here we are. <clears throat> Opening morning, Saturday, the day of Nick's hunt. So I have just left the sawtooth. Nick and Keenan jumped over the hill. They're going to the glassing point right now, but I'll be with them shortly. It's just right over the top. And uh, barely light enough to see much, but we'll do some glassing as soon as the sun wants to come up. <coughs> definitely gonna help us when daylight savings hits tomorrow because right now it's probably 715 still really dark so a little bit of walking and we'll get up here turn up one of those big bowls from Thursday since we weren't in this spot yesterday we're pretty confident that we're gonna be able to find them if we come in here and just stick on the glass today so opening morning hopefully we're the first gunshot on those bulls. If you can get up to that far left ridge, I'm sure you can get a Let me put it like this, Nick. That, huh? Let me put it like this. If you were wishing that you were sleeped out there last night, there's no point to be here right now. We have to get there either way. No, yeah. I mean, we're gonna glass more bulls when we get over there. We're just gonna have to hike. Well, it didn't take long. Nick was able to glass up two bulls pretty far down, a lot further than where we found them the other day, but we glassed those tubules up from pretty far. And as we were loading our packs, getting ready to make a move, we glassed two, bull, two more bulls that were closer. So now, we're moving over to those elk. And trying to get on the ridge close enough for a shot under 500. down quite a bit now. We're like really in the shit now.
gotta stick with the original plan. Yes. I'm rolling on this one. Go. Good watching. Yeah. Aim a little to the right. Got him, killed him, dude, he dropped him. Dropped him. Got him, killed him, dude, he dropped him. Dropped him. Get another one in or next. He's dead. He Don't move. He's done. Don't move. We're keep going. Get another one in him. I'm gonna put another one in him. Put another one in him. He, dude, he's gonna die right there. No, he's not. I'm gonna shoot right now. Put one right in his back. Right behind his shoulder. That's Got it. Him. He shot the right one too, these other two are smaller. He's kicking. Good ball, Nick. Put another one in him. No. He just died right there. Nick! Give me some fucking love, dude. You can get it first opening day, bro. <laughs> Sorry, I got so excited, dude. I, just I know you just have to just let Nick shoot and then let the bull die before you celebrate. Are pissed. Keenan, Nick, we just can kill 2021 limited entry bull. Oh my god, how did that work out? <laughs> we were dropped down in here so far and this bull came out. We didn't even realize it was the bull. Still, oh, look at all the elk on the left. That we were after. Oh, left. Those guys may shoot a bull out of that. Look. Oh yeah, they're skirting right up to him. It's alright though, we got our bull dudes. What's that big pre mana log sitting in there? There's a fucking leaf in there. Quick little refill on water before we get up to this bull. We're real close now, though. It's less than a couple hundred yards. Well, that got western. Really got western. <laughs> that was really. That's a big zoo walk out of here. That's gonna That's suck. Probably a 3,000 foot gain. Like, You'd have to be over halfway to be 3,000 feet gain. We're damn near halfway. Mm -mm. I think you're about 2,000, maybe 25. God, that's a big animal. Good size boy. Get him in the lungs. <clears throat> I got the nice bolt. He's for sure. 
Grab him, dude. <laughs> what do you think? Unbelievable. Was this the goal or yeah, a little bit more? Definitely dope. Dude, Snake River 2021. That is a freak bull. It's just what you want. The body on this animal is just stupid. Huge, dude. One of the biggest body the elk I've ever seen. Good shot. This is that's the exit right there. On the first shot. Well boys. Toast to Cheers. the six point in Hell's Canyon. Now the fun really begins. That's a cookie tasting shit there. That was a peanut butter. I do not like that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't? Uh uh. <laughs> Tastes like bad peanut butter. Tagged out on opening day. I don't know them. Maybe like. <laughs> That's dope. That's money, dope. That is money, dude. Look at these bases. They were good sized bases. Really nice bull, dude. Imagine holding that like a shed. That's a good sized horn. Dude. Yeah. No, it it's just like looks big... small when it's on the fucking elk, which is giant, dude. The biggest bull body bull I've ever seen. I took the hoofs out on this thing. Show these guys. Wow. Jumbo. Yeah, that's a huge bull track if you were to see that. Buddy. Well, current situation as it sits, we got a meat yard sale out here. That is heavy, dude. Deboning everything. I might only be taking that. That's like fucking 40. <laughs> that is heavy, dude. <laughs> Look at that thing, yeah. I know. Here, hold that That's one. That's a slammer. Thing. Low Canyon Bull. Left side's a lot better than that, right? This is beginning to be one hell of a day. I have my pack fully loaded now. Looks like Keenan and Nick have 
gotten theirs figured out over here. What are the odds you were going to get it done opening day? Very slim for sure. What are you called? Yeah, but I don't have my puffer and stuff on or any insulating layers because I know I'm going to be melted coming up that. No, dude. <laughs> we could probably get something fucking less than steep, dude. You don't like how steep this is in here? There's I some better it. hunts that aren't as nasty. With highest success rates? More timber. But yeah, not as not as high. You want to go hunt your tire? Go ahead. Hit it, dude. Today has been one hell of a day. We finally hit the top. We have been in snow, cliffs. Keenan, you tell them, how bad was it? One of the worst days of my life. Every one of us agrees this, this has been the worst day of our life. And as we are on the trail, coming yeah, out right. of here, I think some mule guys seen us and knew what was going on and lit this huge rager fire. Yeah, they definitely knew what was going on. Yeah. We walked up and yeah, have never yeah, been happier. Struggling to get out of there screaming and yelling. Might have been those other that mule pack coming down on but, us. It was a lifesaver. This was definitely the most miserable hike day ever. Like I'd rather go to work for a week. I'd rather work for two and a half months, seven days a week. But boys, we did it. We did. Ken. Oh Lord. <laughs> What's that? I hit him with a spam come up. Rate this fire on a on a scale for us. Alexa. Alexa. Siri. Hey Siri. All the white. I don't think I've ever been happier for something like this in my life. Somehow we made it out of there. 50% complete. <laughs> Ready for this pack out? No. No, no. Well, we finally got the balls to come back up in here. We made the first load out and uh, got up bright and early. Our uh, pack mule's back there somewhere dropping his morning load, but Nick and I are kind of getting gamed up, ready for this really heavy last load of meat. What do you think? It's going to be a, at least an 80 pounder. <laughs> A 2,000 foot climb for sure. What's your, what part are you most looking forward to? Honestly, just getting it back to this flat top. Where we're at is a flat wilderness trail going out on the top here at 6,200 feet. And we've got to climb it back up to the 6,200 and then we can leapfrog it, you know, a mile or two, drop it, get another pack or another load. <clears throat> What's going to be the hardest part about today? So the hardest part is going to be climbing that 2,400 feet back up. You don't think deboning that frozen meat is going to be fun? Yeah, it was 19 degrees this morning. Those two hindquarters and a game bag and a tree, we're going to have to whittle those steaks off of there. No doubt about that. I know we're not carrying the bones out with it, though. Not another 2,000 feet up the trail. 
No. Bluebird day. Nice out here. Definitely the 100% opposite of how we came out of here. Frozen. Pitch black Frozen nightmare. Afternoon. 2 a.m. back to camp. The mule guys saved our asses with a pitch stump fire, though, that's for sure. We'll hit you guys up when we get back to the bowl there. You heard the man. Let's get this shit done. Crack it, dude. Check out those seven devils. Where's that, Keenan? That's over to the seven devils on the hellhole side of fucking Idaho, over where the Chippewas go. <laughs> <laughs> You could say that's a welcome sight. We were at the kill site with meat bag, still here. The question, how frozen are these quarters? Like it's been in a meat cooler, dude. We have such a pull to get out of here. Kinda of bittersweet, huh, buddy? Yeah. Last one here. Well, we sure hope it's the last one, but we'll do everything we can to get it out. Thanks to Mr. Snyder for the too far the bag. We don't mess around with those XL Mountain gear. Those, those, are, for, those are for little boys. Just for the real heavy hitters over here. I'd say that's proper ending there. Mm -hmm. I feel like if anybody watching this video can either glass this or take a picture of it, it's got to be worth something. That's a money shot, dude. I don't know, dude. Here. Oh my god. This is how I was the other night. Rock solid. The thing is, I take 50 pound camp into the Eagle Cap a lot. 40 pounds of camp, so I'm kind of used to it. I thought it was too until I came up with that fucking front quarter and those two back straps and those loins and that heart hole. You never carry weight. Where do you carry weight? 40 pound fucking tool bag all day, every day. How you feeling, buddy? This is our last nice load. Top. This is our last load with your 2021 bull. It is. <sighs> Bittersweet ending to this shit, boys. Sweet, and it ain't fucking sweet. It's mostly bitter. The rest of that pull will be. I thought this morning was fun. It was an easy walk, beautiful day. Couldn't ask for a better. Remember us the other, coming out of here, when we came out of here, we were fucking flopping over dead. Crying. Taking naps at midnight 30 <laughs> on the way out of here. In the snow. He's sleeping on his sticks and I'm sleeping on the ground. <laughs> Falling over onto my bag and taking naps. All right, well. Put these sissy sticks to rest. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Got everything over there for it. We left that horseshoe for good luck. Hopefully someone else gets a bull in there. Today we are feeling a whole lot better than we have before. We're probably, like Keenan said, about a third of the way up. We hit that mountain up. Yeah, we hit a double pull on the old mountain ops. Got up to this first bench, taking a quick break. And the next thing we'll know, we'll be up there. Well, on the hike up here, Keenan did it again and got a shed right as we were cresting this big cliff. So. We'll go get him picking that up. Alright, Nick. He's gone, dude. 
That's where it's at. It's gone. What are we doing here? Did you guys put it right there? It's under this tree. Where? It's there. Oh, I see it right there. We're getting the rest of an elk. Between the three of us, we're going to haul out a whole fucking boned out elk. Boned out elk. A whole fucking Kufaro Sawtooth. Spike camp. That was so, a baby zooter pack right there. Those are small fucking zooter packs. No, that little one. Guys. All right, so as you guys know, we spiked in here opening day, opening night. So we left camp a few miles back. When we killed that bull, we pulled this first load up and dragged our happy asses out of here at midnight without the meat. We came back in, put like 80 pounds on our back, maybe less, 70, 60, yeah, we don't know. The whole rest of the elk split between us. Ran it to the top. We left our bags about a mile back, shit, half mile is, back. That's a brick, dude. How much is that way? Almost more than those fucking quarters. I'm telling you, it's right like 85, 90 pounds. <laughs> and so now, our plan is to just right there, suck it up. We're going to put all this weight on our back, hike all the way, so we don't have to come in here another 10 miles. And uh, we'll grab camp on the way out of here, so. Get your little kick wad ball over there. Give me that motherfucking thing. Get over here. Grab a pack right here. Pick that up. Take that over to the fucking warehouse or land. Throw it out there for the guys that are hunting up the main road. That's a warehouser pack. That's a little baby zooter pack. I put this in my back pocket and have it for a snack while I'm hiking around that's up here. That's literally a spike blacktail right there. <laughs> Fully that's deboned. A, that's a 15 pound baby zooter. It's not 15 pounds. That's probably 30, 40. <sighs> Man. Grinding it out, boys. Earning this one. We're splitting an eight ounce Red Bull three ways. Oh, fucking Keely's hurt. Well, we did it, boys. We have every last ounce of that elk meat right here. We have an entire. <laughs> Keenan always comes out of places with sheds. It's insane. We've got an entire boned out elk right in front of us, and we can't even see it. Barely tell. But now we have to figure out how to divide this meat up evenly and then get to camp and split that. Let's start yard sailing. Has some rock solid shit right there. We're gonna have to take some uh, weight out of his backpack. He signed up for this shit. See camp right there. All we gotta do is break that down and get the rest of this out of here. Oh, don't mind if I do. Here, buddy. Supposed to solid. No, they're liquid. How ready are you? We're all sitting at a hundred pounds easily on this pack out. Two miles more to go. Final stretch.
fucking did it, boys. Thought you wrote. If we did it. Bro, get your shit up. It's the official time and the official mileage for today. It's the last time you're driving to that gate. Till next year, baby. <laughs> <laughs>